Good afternoon, Mitty Collin here with TechOut. I just got done doing my live install live stream on Beta 3 on iOS 17 here. And we've got a lot of new features in Beta 3 um, that are kind of not hidden, but they're not really apparent unless you see them or know about them. Um, so we're gonna start off here at the lock screen. And first things first is this only applies, as far as I can tell, to iPhone 14 Pros with the always on display and the always on display has to be active. Um, I could not get this to work with the always on display off and it was also not available on my iPad mini. Um, so it looks like it is an always on display feature um, and I'll show you where to turn it on if it's not already enabled by default here in a second. But that is now you can tap to wake which has always been a thing. Um, but now if you swipe up from the bottom, it automatically wakes and it goes to face ID to unlock. So you don't have to, you no longer have to tap and swipe. You can now just swipe from the bottom and unlock right away. Um, the reason it didn't do it that time was because it unlocked with my Apple Watch. But if you go in here to accessibility and go to um, touch right here, we now have a, it says, it says, it used to say tap to wake. Now it is tap or swipe to wake. Um, so you can now swipe up from the bottom edge of the lock screen to uh, wake it. And you can see if I turn that off, we no longer have the bar down there and nothing happens. Um, so you don't have to wake it up and do that. But with that on, you now have that little home bar down there. You can swipe on that and unlock it right away. So pretty cool new feature. Um, next thing is on the home screen. Say you accidentally move an app on the home screen or add one or delete one or something like that that you didn't mean to. Um, there's swipe or there's a shake to uh, undo text. Now you can shake to undo a app move on the home screen. So you just shake it, hit undo, and you can see those apps switch back to where they were originally. Um, so pretty handy feature. And as far as I can tell, it does stay like that for a while. So you can move things around. And if you decide you don't like it 10 minutes later, you can shake it and undo it and go back to the way it was. Um, and that's even after you open apps, stuff like that doesn't seem to um, go away even after a few minutes. So pretty nice feature there. Um, third thing is iOS 17 beta 3 is a lot smoother. Um, very smooth animations, just opening, you know, going between apps and stuff like that. A lot smoother, a lot more fluid, no stutter, um, everything like that. And with it running better, I think we're going to see some better battery life if you were having battery life issues. Um, so very, very nice to see there. Uh, next thing is in music. There are now credits on um, songs. So let me see here if I can just find one. Just go here. I don't know if every song is going to have it yet. Um, yeah, I don't see it on this one. Kind of an older song though, so I don't know if, like I said, if it'll be on, on all of them. But you can now see credits of the um, artist on songs. Very nice feature. Um, so that's pretty much it for Beta 3 right now. If I find anything else, I will let you guys know. But all those new things, you can now, you know, just little things. I really like this feature with the, the swipe to um, wake because you don't have to, um, you don't have to tap it and then wake it or you don't have to hit the button and then swipe. You can do everything in one gesture. Um, you can kind of see there, Face ID doesn't work. It kind of glitches out a little bit, but that'll probably be um, something that's refined here, maybe beta four or something like that. No public beta as of yet. Um, if we don't get the public beta today, it's the fifth. If we don't get it today, we might get it tomorrow on the sixth. Someday it comes out the next day. Um, but if not the next day, we're gonna likely see it would be on the 19th or the 20th, um, which is when we should get beta four. Um, but right now, that's it. One more bug fix is in uh, web browsers, the white backgrounds on some web pages would be kind of like a smoke color. Um, and you'd have like a weird glitchy little box um, when it was animated and stuff like that, or uh, kind of like boxing around text, that has now been fixed in beta three, as well as if you go into the wallet app, um, if you have a savings account and you go to withdraw or add money, the keyboard down here was not working. So now that has been fixed and that keyboard now works. So you can now withdraw or add money to your Apple savings account in the wallet app. So that's some of the new stuff and some of the stuff that has been fixed in iOS 17 beta 3. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.